crazy bird lady. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm stepping over you. So, my coffee is ready. I have a few. My husband brought me some peanut butter balls. Mrs. Peas. Nope, sorry. I don't know why I say Mrs. Peas. <laughs> Mrs. Peas peanut butter balls. Uh, it's from In the Raw. Oh, that was loud. So she's local. This is like all organic peanut butter, maple syrup, pure vanilla, dark chocolate, and sea salt. And uh, it just gets rolled in. It's local, it's vegan, and it's gluten-free. And it is probably my favorite food on earth. <laughs> So I'm going to give myself a couple of these. I'm going to take out my coffee, pour myself some water, and um, get to work. Also, uh, do some laundry. <laughs> That's the good thing about <laughs> working from home. I can uh, do chores uh, on my lunch and stuff and get them all done so I don't have to deal with them on the weekend. Good morning. I uh, I just made it home from the coffee shop about half an hour ago. It was a very harrowing drive home. It was pouring rain um, starting like early, early in the morning. So from four, and there was like thunder and lightning. So from four o'clock until about 6.30, the dog was like really agitated. So I had her up in the bed with me, just trying to calm her down so I didn't sleep. So at about 7.30, the rain just kind of tapered off. So I went down to the coffee shop to get some um, writing done. And while I was there, it started thundering and lightning and pouring rain again. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to wait before I can drive home. Look at my hair. <laughs> so anyways, finally, it started to slow down. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll go home now. And I no sooner... <laughs> pulled out onto the street and started driving when it started raining so hard. I was probably, there was so much water on the road almost immediately, which kind of tells you that the uh, drains are overflowing. <laughs> so I was going about 30. That's kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. <laughs> so slower than 30 miles per hour. And the roads were like starting to, like there was a lot of rain. So you could kind of, even it going 30, you could feel like the car being pulled. And I was like, oh God. And I'm like literally a five minute drive from home normally. So I got down almost to the point where I turn off, which kind of takes me more into our neighborhood. Um, but I saw up ahead, there was a cop car and the lights were going and they wouldn't let me past like where I needed to go because it was all completely flooded. The drain had overflowed so it was like a lake. So I had to turn off onto the side street by Dartmouth Book Exchange. I should have just stopped in there. <laughs> and that's just like this little short road which then I can kind of loop back into my neighborhood that way except when I got to the top of that little road that whole area was flooded. So I had to turn back around cut through the Dartmouth Book Exchange parking lot, go back up and then get around. But then I had to drive through another lake just to get on <laughs> into our neighborhood. It was just, I'm gonna stay home for the rest of the day now. I think it's slowing down now, but I thought that before. So, so I'm going to wind this up and then I have some, um, I want, I keep wanting to say Angora, mohair, mohair upstairs um, that I'm going to mix with this and I'm going to use that for my DK everyday sweater. So what it is, DKR, DK everyday sweater. I think that's what it is by Andrea Mowry. Uh, yeah, because I feel like a new cast on is required, even though I haven't finished the sleeve on my classic sweater.
So I wound up the yarn for, which one am I doing? I'm either doing the DRK everyday sweater, but I think that's a sport or I'm doing the pebble base. So I wound up, I have three skeins of the Juniper Moon Harriet Fine. And this is a light fingering, like there's 461 meters per hundred gram. No, sorry, 461 yards, I think. You know, I could look. Yes, 461 yards, 420 meters. So I cast this on and I was like, I'm going to start the DRK or the uh, ba, 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 DRK Everyday Sweater or the Pebble Bay. Both which I've knit before. The Pebble Bay one I knit. I love how it knit up and I wear it a lot. The DRK Everyday Sweater. I love how it knit it up, but I don't like the yarn that I used. Like I don't like how that how the fabric looks on me. I just I love the color though. The color is beautiful. Anyway, so I've got this. This is light fingering, but the DRK Everyday Sweater I believe is sport, and then the Pebble Bay is. Okay, so my plan is to put this with a mohair. I'm just not sure which color of mohair yet. Anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna cast it on today. Blah, blah, blah. And then I thought, you know what? No, you're not. No, you're not, boys. <laughs> you're gonna finish the sleeve on your classic sweater before you do anything else. So I have cast on the sleeve or I've started the second, this is the second sleeve. All I have to do is knit, cause I did, I did, I did it a little different. I kind of did balloon sleeves, semi-unintentionally. <laughs> I mean, I realized how the, the sleeves just looked like crazy wide. So I thought, I guess I'm doing balloon sleeves. So then I kind of got to here and then I did like rapid, decreases um, just on one side. When you're wearing it, you can't really tell. It's not that big a deal. I put it on, but I'm afraid I'd knock all these off. So basically I just have to, on this sleeve, knit like this far, just straight knitting. And then I did, how did I do it? It's not, it's not what the pattern says, but. So once I get to here, then I decrease every three rows what do I have? Decrease every three rows at the marker, on either side of the marker, um, seven times, which brings me to about here. So that's basically going to be like 21 rows. <laughs> I'm doing my math right. Then I'm going to knit two rows. Then I'm going to decrease every five stitches in one row, knit another row, and then I'm going to start the ribbing and then I've done the ribbing longer than I think. I don't know how they call, how long they call it for in the pattern, but at this point I've got, I forget how many stitches on the needles, but I've modified the sleeves kind of heavily. So anyways, I was like, I'm not doing anything else. I'm not casting anything new on until I finish this languishing sleeve. And then as I was doing that, I looked and realized that I also have my free your fade, free your fade, find your fade, free your fade that I kind of forgot about that's sitting there and I'm just like near the end of it. So I think I'm going to add that to my get this done during your vacation list. <laughs> but if I can finish the sweater, I can cast on a new sweater, whether I've got the, the free your fade done or not. So, and I think what I might do for the Free Your Fade is I may use that as a giveaway. The colors aren't really, aren't really my colors. Like I'm looking at them going, I don't know that I would wear that as much as I think it deserves to be worn. Um, so I may do a giveaway for that. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, for now, I've got my coffee in my bicycle mug, which you can't actually see. <laughs> in my bicycle mug. This is from... I think this is from oh, the Little Canada Shop. Is that the name of it? I'm trying to remember to put a link down. She has great pottery. 
have a lot of her mugs. <laughs> so I am going to uh, work on this. My husband's gone out to Home Depot because he has to pick some stuff up for there. We've got a couple of little projects that we're going to get done on vacation, but mostly we're day tripping. Uh, so we're going to go to Lunenburg and Mahone Bay. There is a new yarn store over in Halifax up. I'm not exactly sure where it is. It's off the main drag. It's kind of up, up further. I'm really bad with directions, so I would never find it on my own. I think it's on Summit Street or Summit Road. My husband knows where, where the street is, so we're going to go up there and take a look at that. But they're not, they're on vacation right now, so it's not open until, I think it's the 9th. They reopen on the 10th, which is my dad's birthday. So we're also going to go to, I think, do a winery tour one day. We're going to do movie and dinner on another day. Um, and then we got just got a, a few little projects around the house. I have put away all of my work stuff, my computer, my phone. Everything is turned off and in the bag up so that I can't hear it buzzing. <laughs> Nobody can reach me. I, it's like a true vacation. I'm very, I'm one of these people that's very religious about not being contacted on my vacation. My feel is if you're getting contacted by work on your vacation, your, your kind of Zen mode is constantly being interrupted and then you have to kind of get back into it. And I am just like, no, I get my, I get my vacation. I worked for that vacation and take that vacation. <laughs> so before I left, I was like, you're not going to be able to reach me. This whole place can burn down and I'm not going to know until I come back from vacation. So anyway, I got crap all over my shirt. Oh, I think that's, I think the dog nosed my shirt. Anyway. All right. So I'm watching Taylor on Will Needle's hands, catching up on the podcast doing some knitting, and uh, that's pretty much what I'm up to this afternoon. The longer I waited, the more that I've tried, all the years that I've wasted, trying to find.
look in my eyes. <laughs> I'm just precariously balanced. I can hear the wind <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it is. Oh, I'm falling off the. There we go. It is. It is August. I want to say 20th. It was nice and sunny first thing this morning when I get up to make my coffee and it's kind of cloudy right now, but I think it's supposed to get sunny again today. And I have a writing event down at uh, one of the local bookstores here, the Dartmouth Book Exchange this afternoon. So I thought this morning I get some knitting done. My husband went out to the other house to check on the progress of the deck, which is almost done. We've had a, like some <laughs> a rainy weather, so it's kind of working against us. I am trying this the right way. I'm going to try. I've been working on a new sweater, but uh, I thought, you know what? I really want to get this off the needle so I can cast on the other um shawl for the one that I got from Mariner's Daughter uh the everybody wants this shawl shawl the reason it is called that apparently is because every time the lady who designed the pattern knit one somebody wanted it so bad that she <laughs> gave it to them apparently and then she knit another one for herself then somebody else was like oh I really I think I really want that. And so she gave them that one. I think she ended up knitting six and then just uh, put the pattern and the kits up so people could knit their own. <laughs> so I really want to do that one. Uh, this one I think is either going to be a giveaway or a, or a Christmas gift. I'm not sure yet. Let's see how long it is. It's not too, too bad. I think I'm going to make this one a little shorter just because I don't have as much of the yarn as I would need, like for like, it calls for three skeins, like 400 gram skeins, I think. But you don't use all of the skeins for each, but there's a couple where you use almost all of the skein. So I had to shorten how much, like I ran out on the middle section. Uh, so I had to start the last one early. So once I start getting down near the end of how much yarn I have left for this, then I'll do the Pico edge bind off. So maybe a little shorter than what the um, pattern calls for, but it's a pretty long shawl anyway, so it's not, it's not really gonna hinder you getting it wrapped around your neck a couple times. So, so far, this is the last color, and then that's the middle one, and then this is the end one. So, I've got, and this is the Upcycle Alpaca from Knit Picks. In the varying shades, and my husband got me these uh, for Christmas. He got me a few of them because they were selling them in like bundles of three. So, I thought that would be a good use for that because I was itching to cast on a shawl and this is sort of my go-to when I don't know what shawl I want to use but I want to use up a good amount of yarn so yeah so this uh I'm almost done I think I'll probably knit it I'll have enough to knit it maybe like this much maybe this much more and then do the pico bind off and uh yeah so that should do it <laughs> 